our fox on the board here. Got his tail split out. One of the first things you want to do is get the ear cartilage out. Because uh, if you leave that in there, it'll start causing spoilage and it'll start making hair on the ear slip. But another thing I want to mention is, uh, you know, when I first got into putting up, you know, trapping and getting into putting up my furs, uh, when I, the first few years I started fleshing, I had this old welding jacket, just an old green welding jacket, and uh, that's what I used to wear while I was fleshing. Well, you know, after so long, you know, that, that material can only absorb so much grease, and then it starts getting in on your clothes, and you start ruining all your clothes. Well, then I had a certain coat I always wore, you know, just an old Carhartt court coat. I wore it, same thing, it started ruining my clothes. So eventually, I spent the money, bought one of these aprons, and I'm telling you, that's the way to go, guys. You won't ruin another shirt or anything, so uh, I definitely advise getting you an apron. But anyway, we're gonna, I, you know, I used to use a knife to get all this cartilage out, but I was watching another YouTuber's channel, uh, Seldom Fails, I was watching his uh, YouTube channel and he was he showed an easier way to do the ear cartilage and I tried it a few times and boy I'll tell you it's so much easier but uh, all you do is take you a pair of scissors just start cutting all the way you know right down the middle all the way up to the top of your ear and then I got a little pair of pliers here just take that and you just kind of work it off. There you go. There's half your cartilage. Go ahead, pop this one off. There you go. That's one ear done. And another reason I like cutting my ears short is just it's so much easier to get them flipped back in and out instead of messing with that little hole there. So same thing, we'll take our take our scissors here. I don't know how well you guys could see this. And you just cut literally right up the middle. And this ain't no fancy pair of scissors I got here, guys. This is just an old pair of kitchen shears that I use on some furs. But uh boy, I tell you this. I'm glad I watch that video because it definitely helps you just grab that and pull both your sides on off you know it's that simple go ahead and tuck that in and uh i was sitting here looking on this box there really isn't a whole lot that needs to be fleshed off that little bit will dry there like on the face I never use my actual fleshing knife. Looking for a different knife at the moment. But uh, I just use my regular skinning knife and if there's anything I see that needs to come off, like there's just a little piece of cartilage here. If I see something that needs to come off, I'll cut it off. But uh, you know, it's a lot of that stuff will dry and it won't rot. I mean, that's, that's basically just membrane there and a lot of blood. You know, I dispatch mine in the head. I shoot them with the 22. A quick dispatch, humane as can be. And, uh, you know, on these furs, a lot, of, like, especially on your canines, the, on their back is what they mainly focus on. They make strips out of these. And uh, they mainly focus on that, so I hate putting one, you know, putting a hole in the shoulder, you know, in the usable part. So I try to keep my holes at a minimum. Like I said, you want to leave this red membrane on. That's a saddle. This is a, I caught this fox later in the, it's like I said, today's January 26th. So, you know, we've had a real cold winter. This guy has used up a lot of his fat. He doesn't really have any fat under the saddle like you would an early caught fox in, you know, November or whatever. But, uh, you know, there's like barely any fat under there. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Like I so said, this guy has used up pretty much all his fat. 
there really ain't any on the carcass still. Just right here in the back, I can see just a little bit of fat. This big piece of meat here, and a, just a little bit of, I mean, nothing really down there even. I mean, there's just a little fat here around the edges from the back legs. But, you know, when you flesh these, it's all the dull side. You know, and there's really, I'm not even going to take that off because that's part of the saddle. Mainly just going to take this one chunk of meat off right here. And honestly, just pull that off. You know, these fox, there ain't much to them really. You know, that tail's good and clean. Like I said, this guy, he used up a lot of his fat this winter. Which would explain why he was tempted by that stinky bait I was using. There is a little bit here on the stomach, just right there. We'll go ahead and get that off. And, uh, I mean, just, it's very little what I'm taking off here. I'm just basically checking it over. You know, anywhere you see any fat, you definitely want to get it off, or meat. Like this, I don't know if you can see it, but this little chunk of meat here from when I opened him up. We're going to scrape that off there. There's still a little right there. You know, guys, these critters, they're not, mu they're not worth much of anything so uh, if you're gonna go ahead and do it you might as well do it right and get as much money as you can for it you know like I said I use a lot of the like that fox there that carcass I'll take all the glands out of it to make some uh, just some gland lure so I can use it next year you know this fur is such a renewable resource it's not even funny but uh I'll use the glands for bait or for lure I mean and then uh, a lot of the meat like I, I save all the fox meat I'll go ahead and grind that up and make a bait out of it too but uh, you know I try to use as much of it as I can and try to do the best I can to get the most money for it see there's a a little bit of extra meat there right under the uh, right by the saddle so you can tell the difference I don't know if you guys can from that view but uh, there's a difference here this red membrane here that's what they consider the saddle and you can see it there but uh, this is actually the meat that you don't want on there right there so we're gonna take just that little strip off of there same with this side just that one little strip right here and I mean that's I'm barely putting any pressure on it there just kind of cut that off and that fox is fleshed you know I spent more talking or I spent more time talking there than I did fleshing so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this guy on the board and I'll show you what's next